Okay, so I've seen this video. Uh, well, I haven't seen it, but I've seen other people seeing it. There was a video. I, okay, so I think the way it went was Hassan did a response to it, and then Pay Money Wubby did a response to Hassan's response of it. And then I think Destiny did a response to Pay Money Wubby's response to Hassan's response to the original video. And the original video is, so what exactly are white people superior at? Keep it 100, black in America, cut. Uh, cool. So that like to dislike ratio, along with the discourse I've seen around those videos, uh, leads me to believe that this video has some um, controversial perspectives on race. And I wanted to, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. I told myself that I wouldn't do any video responses while I'm not streaming because not having chat in the corner makes it feel weird. So you're all going to, let's just embrace the cringe, okay? It's just me today. I'm like, a, I'm like any other YouTuber. I'm doing the react shit myself, except I'm not even going to edit it. Look at, look at me. I'm taking back the medium. Anyway, cut just seems to be like, I don't, they just, I don't know, it's just like a variety human interest channel, I guess, where you, little goofy things happen. A conservative and liberal guess strangers' politics. If you scream, you get a kitten. My stripper boyfriend and I play truth or dare. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this isn't like a super political channel, you know? Though, if you go to their homepage, you can see that the featured, um, the featured playlist they have right now is Black Stories Matter. I Can't Breathe, 100 Years of Beauty. Um, black men respond to the word police, you know? So there's obviously a political bent here. It's probably a progressive bent. Let's take a look at this video. Let's see why people got so goddamn mad. Oh, wait. Before we get started with that, okay, I just wanna, I wanna front this. I'm obviously pretty far left. I don't subscribe to the power equals, sorry, racism equals prejudice plus power thing. I don't subscribe to that idea. Now, there are two kinds of racism, conventional and systemic, where you can say interpersonal and systemic, and honestly, the words don't really matter. The ideas behind them do. The issue with the racism equals prejudice plus power thing is that it is, first of all, it describes the same concept that I described, because people who subscribe to that idea, they'll say, oh, well, when a black person is discriminatory against a white person. That's not racist, it's prejudiced. So they also recognize the distinction between interpersonal and systemic racism. They just call interpersonal racism that is directed by minority groups against majority groups as prejudice. And then they just describe the what I would consider to be institutional racism or systemic racism as racism. So these are th exactly the same concepts are being described. The language is what matters here. And let's be real, okay? If black people are like making derogatory comments about white people in an essentialist way, you know, like white people are dumb or whatever, that's racist. Like, come on, let's not fuck around with language here. The, this, this whole prejudice plus power equals racism thing, that distinction isn't really like entrenched in academia. That's mostly like a caught on on the internet kind of thing. So let's just, look, I don't think it's good for anyone to be racist against anyone. But when we're talking about racism, we have to understand there's a pretty big difference between like interpersonal racism and systemic racism. Like there have been black people who have been mean to me because I'm white and I would call that racist and I think that's bad. I don't think it's good to do that. But like when black people complain about racism, they're not complaining about people being mean to them. They're complaining about like the way that reflects broader institutional difficulties they struggle with. Like when black people talk about racism, they're not talking about like the time white people were rude to them. They're talking about like the look they get from police officers, wondering every time they're mistreated by security in a store or like looked over by them if it's a race thing, but wondering about every little comment that teachers make when grading their papers that sounds like it kind of is a little weird or dog whistly, you know? The, the racism black people complain about is not like being made fun of because you can't handle spicy food. That's not, so just as long as we're clear on the distinction between the two, I don't fucking know. I don't think any of them are good, but it is important to know the difference between black people calling white people mayo people and white people calling black people subhuman degenerates. You'll notice that a lot of the jokes black people make about white people are like, we can't dance, we don't like spicy food, haha. <laughs> and then a lot of the 
jokes white people make about black people are like, you are subhuman. You are literally inferior. Civilization was built on the backs of you degenerate. Like that kind of thing, you know? It's a very different tone. Okay, we preempted enough. Let's go. What exactly are white people superior at? Oh, well, according to television, everything. A white man could fly. Even a white woman, she could be four foot one. She knew karate. She could take down 15 people. I think that might be more of a movie thing, but... What are... Oh, that's always a warning sign right there. When you spell folks with an X, I'm sorry, I don't get this. Folks was already gender neutral, and it's pronounced the same with the KS. Why X? That the, okay, I don't What are white people superior at? Man. It is an awkward question to be asked, like with a camera in your huh. face. Um, Woo, uh, that outfit, <laughs> that looked good. Um, oh God. What are white people superior at? <laughs> They, they just keep talking, mostly about their pets. True. White people love their dogs. Like, that's all you see. I'm a cat Cats. guy. Letting oh. them get on your countertops while you're cooking. Yep. Yes. I get that you I can't complain about that, because we do that shit. You know, Artemy and Pigeon will jump up in the countertop while we're cooking, then we have to put them down, they'll jump back up. We love them, okay? We love them up there. If I'm being called out, I can't complain. Of your pet, but like, you need to take it everywhere? Like, everywhere? I guess, you know, hey. Emotional support animals, I guess. What exactly are white people superior at? <laughs> Fuck, man, like making cereal. Casserole. Oh. What kind of casserole? Tuna. It's always tuna. What do you mean? It's always tuna. Using mayonnaise in a lot of their recipes. Making bland food. Unseasoned chicken. How are you going to start whole spice wars and don't even use seasoning on your food? I mean, come on. What exactly are white people superior at? See, I just want to say, by the way, everything we've heard so far sounds pretty okay to me, right? Oh, shit. This lady's got like a fucking cop clan outfit with its fucking base dash shirt. Okay, but so far everything we've heard, I think, sounds totally fine. I don't think anything here is objectionable. Smelling funky. Santa Claus. Oh. Extreme water sports. Corn. I do think it's a little fucking weird. Say white people smell bad. That feels a little weird to me. If you want to say something like wear, wearing Axe body spray or something like that, I think that's, I don't know, that, that feels a little weird to me. Mazes. White people are great at having fun. That's a function oh. of white supremacy because oh. they just don't have as many stresses as we do. White people are very. That's actually really interesting because historically, the conception was the opposite. Um, the belief was, and this is of course a racist belief, but the belief was the black people were more animalistic and more like free, free spirited. You know because they weren't burdened by their gigantic caucasoid brains. So what a lot of white people would do is they would go, this was, it was called slumming, and this is still a thing, though, I guess, in different contexts. Um, and they would go to places like Harlem, and they would appreciate the culture, the food, the music, the dance. And it would be like, um, it, it would be like going, you know, on holiday for them. And the, the conception was that black people were like more wild because they were, well, essentially, because they were stupider. That was the common belief. And that belief, that goes way, way, way back, you know, back to the, the fucking slavery days, you know, the plantation master would be like, you know, unstrapping their 16 bodices with the, with the assistance of like three maids, and they would do the tea drinking ceremony to prepare for the two hour foot unwrapping to get the, they were stuffy, okay? But then the slave, you know, the slaves were, when they weren't getting, you know, fucking brutalized, engaged with each other, you know, in a more, I guess, free-spirited way. That's kind of ironic considering the fact that they were literally slaves, but that was the perception, I guess. The plantation owner would look out from the window and see, like, just black people around a campfire or something. They'd be like, Rrr. don't you have fun? I don't know. That's what I read, okay? It's, if, it's, if it's wrong, I'm wrong. Blame the fucking books I read, okay? superior at their privilege and utilizing it. We do not have the privilege to do whatever and however we want to. What exactly are white people superior at? Uh, not getting arrested. You know, I was driving down the streets. That's, that's with, true. Uh, down the that is true. Look, I grew up in a really nice neighborhood in Beverly Hills, okay? And uh, so people would just walk around at night, like 10 p.m., walk around, doesn't matter, you're fine. And I would walk around, I'd never get bothered by the police. My little brother, you know, white as snow, would never get bothered by the police. But when my brother would walk around with his black friends from school, they would get bothered by the police pretty fucking often. They'd get stopped, and the officer would, like, pull up next to them in a fucking residential neighborhood where they were just a couple... Their house was just a couple blocks away, and the cop would pull up and be like, um, hello there, young... 
young men, gentlemen, is everything okay? You doing all right on this fine night? Wouldn't you rather be inside at home, inside? Do you want to go in? Would you like, do you need a ride home? Boys? Boy? And like, that would only happen to my brother when he was walking around with his black friends. Um, uh, so yeah, I guess, I guess we do have that. A lot of these comments, by the way, so far have just been like, white people are more privileged, which I mean, they you know, generally are. Usually in America, life is made easier if you're white than it would be if you're black. Doesn't mean every white person's life is better than every black person's life. Um, Barack Obama, probably more privileged than I am in a great many ways, but just generally speaking. Highway with a friend of mine who was white when he's like, I need to, I'm just want to pull over and pee. And I'm in the passenger seat. And I was like, please don't. Because a black man thinks differently. If I pull over to the side of the road and pee, a cop is going to be right behind me to punish me. What is that? That's totally true, by the way. What is that called? The, uh, the talk? It's the, it's the talk. It's like, um, usually when black kids reach a certain age, their parents, they'll say like, uh, hey, you know, life may seem all rosy and shit, but police, they're kind of coming out for you sometimes, you know? That's a thing. That's a whole thing. That's totally true. We're two minutes in. Apart from the, apart from the one lady who said white people smell, I feel like we're doing okay. They're white people superior. Insecurity, pretending, oh. fear, being fearful of nothing, being ignorant, blame, letting their egos control their every move, privilege, privilege, feeling victimized, playing the victim, congratulating themselves over shit that they're incompetent at, <laughs> or that should have already been done. They're superior at being dicks. What exactly are white people superior at? Oppression. Gaslighting. Lack of empathy. Intellectualizing oppression. Did I say oppression? They're just creatively thinking of new ways of like always staying one step ahead of other people. Okay. Oh God, there's a lot to unpack here. I think it should be noted that while these criticisms feel like they're getting a little more essentialist, most of them are basically just reiterations of the idea that white people are privileged and unaware of it. When they say, like, white people take credit for things they didn't do, or white people are, like, dicks, or they feel superior, these aren't really essentialist criticisms in the same way. I would say so far the worst one has been white people smell bad, you know? Like, let, like, let, me, let me do, like, a super hyper, incredibly fucking... Um, incredibly fucking exaggerated example. Imagine you could do this video, except 150 years ago. Black folk, what are white people superior at? If like a bunch of slaves, like real actual chattel slaves, said stuff like, well, white people are better at being assholes, you know? White people are better at feeling superior to others. Would you be like mad at them for that perspective? Obviously black people today aren't, aren't slaves, you know? But the idea, I think, the underlying idea is that if you're a disprivileged group and you're speaking of a privileged group, how okay is it to make generalizations about the privileged group where you're essentially just saying they abuse their power in society over you, you know? I'm genuinely asking, like, to what extent do you think that's okay? Because I think there are points where that's not okay. Like, if a black person's like, yeah, all white people are just inconsiderate fucking monsters who will bull over all black cultural creations. And I think that's uh, a little unnecessarily inflammatory. I don't agree with that. But I do think there's an extent to which those criticisms are justified. Especially since, by the way, these are just fucking randos, aren't they? These are just people they pulled off the street. These aren't, like, media figures. I have to say, I'm very, very curious what a video of the reverse of this would look like, you know? What exactly are black people superior at? That's like a hundred white people. I just really want to see what what that would look like. I would be I would desperately like to cover that video, please. We get rid of slave catchers, then let's just expand the police force. Like that stuff to me is wild. What exactly are white people superior at? Making us believe that we don't matter. Believing that they're superior. Feeling superior. Thinking they're superior. Thinking that they're superior. Thinking that they are superior. Self-delusion. Controlling the narrative. Believing their own press. Marketing of white superiority. Whether you are Republican, whether you're Democrat, whether you're conservative, like white people are really good at upholding white supremacy. They're cute. How about claiming that, you know, they are actually a whole separate... Okay, again, we're three minutes in. So far, most of these criticisms are just white people have power in society and I think they are harmful with it, you know? So far, I really think the only, like, really bad one was the smell bad thing. And even that was, you know, we haven't gotten to skull shapes yet. 
the race, when actually white DNA comes from the black female. So what exactly well, are white people? I mean, technically. Honey, lying, stealing, and cheating. Manipulation. Withholding information. Lying. Telling lies. What kind of lies? Uh, the lies of history. They say that history is written by the victor, but the victor could be replaced by the colonizer. What are white people superior at? Those ones felt a little more weird, but again, they're really just criticizing white people for their role in upholding white supremacy, which, I mean, to be fair, almost by definition, white people will be better at upholding white supremacy, right? Like, right? Conquering. Imperialism. Imperialism. Colonizing. Colonizing. Colonialism. Colonization. Colonization. They might be better at that than us. And this is historically and objectively correct. Nobody can get mad at this. If there's, if there's anything the European powers objectively had on the fucking African powers ye back hundreds of years ago, it was that we were better at colonization. And we're still better at it. Though China's catching up, okay? We gotta, we gotta up our game, okay? And everybody else, really. They ballsy. They rose up all over the world. And they walk into everybody's house and says, oh, this is nice. I'm going to take your shit. And they have no qualms about it. They That's the British History Museum right there. That's the whole fucking history. The fucking, they walk into your house. They're like, damn, this is a sick statue. Goodbye. Fucking walk out. They turn 360 degrees around. And they walk out. Take anything, baby. What exactly are white people superior at? They're real good at violence. Violence? Genocide. It's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it. If you are white and you know this is happening and you say nothing, then you're a killer too. You are adopting a whole philosophy that says it's okay to do this. And part of that philosophy allows you to be ignorant, right? And they're like, oh, I didn't know. What exactly? I don't think it's good to be passive in the face of injustice. I don't know if that makes you a killer too. I know I keep saying this, just I watched all the people's reactions to this. I've seen the like to dislike bar at the bottom. And I just, I guess I just don't feel like this video is that bad, you know? If this video was really, really, really like bad, like for, in my opinion, in order for this video to justify the critical reception it seems to have received, I feel like it would have to be way more essentialist than it currently is. Most of this isn't even really insulting white people. It's more pointing out that they wield their privilege in destructive ways, which can be empirically demonstrated, you know. In my mind, the worst actor here, like the worst thing here, is Cut making this video. Because at the end of the day, race relations in this country are in a really tumultuous point. And I feel like what we don't need right now are any reinforcements to the narrative that like black people and white people are like egging on to engage in some kind of race war that's what a lot of that's what corporate media wants you to believe about black lives matter that it's a pro-black movement and they're sticking it to the whites but that's not true black lives matter is about racial justice there are just many fucking white folk out there in the streets there are black folk and you know blm has stood up for white victims of police violence. It's not a race war. There are people who want you to think it's a race war because getting you to hate BLM under the impression that it's racist against whites allows you to ignore the other ways in which you're getting fucked over, you know? This is a centuries-old tactic. You know, the capitalists, they'll, they'll hoard all the wealth for themselves and then they'll point at the starving immigrant and they'll say, hey, that guy wants to steal your one dollar that I gave you. For one week of labor that guy wants to take it away from you as he like shoves hundreds of dollars into his wallet so i don't think this was a responsible video to make i really don't think like the individual black people who are featured in this video are demonstrating anything that i would consider to be like severe racial animus if i had one of these people on and i was like hey how do you feel about white people and they were like i don't know i mean i'm fine with white people just to feel like you know the pretty good at fucking over our culture sometimes, you know? Is that really like a horrible racist statement? I don't know. Exactly are white people superior at? Taking what's not there. Taking shit. Taking our ideas. Copycatting. Gentrification. Appropriating things that do not belong to them. Taking over other people's cultures and making you believe that they invented it. Maybe they're thinking of it as a repurpose. Okay, these are all pretty, 
historically demonstrable. Again, I feel like if we had the opposite and it was what exactly are black people superior at and it was asking 100 white people, the 100 white people, it'd be like 50-50. Like, half of them would be like super fucking scared and they'd be like, nothing, all people are perfectly equal. And the other half would either try to overcompensate by saying like, black people are better at being human or they would go in the other direction and make edgy jokes out of it and it would belie some pretty serious fucking racial animus you know like uh, black people yeah they're better at stealing but the difference is when a white person says a black person is better at stealing it's probably kind of like a 1350 crime statistic thing when a black person says white people are better at stealing they're talking about colonialism and cultural appropriation here. It's much less essentialist. It's more about the cultural positions we're all in. It's not about how individually white people are bad. I feel like I'm a broken record here, but man, I don't know. I think it's a really important distinction. Purposing. It's like recycle and repurpose. As my grandma was saying, the white folk, they'll take it if you don't copyright it. They are very good at destruction of land, destruction of people, destruction of humanness. What exactly are white people superior at? White people are not superior uh, with anything. Nothing. 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 There is nothing. <laughs> nothing. So wait, here's the question. These black people at the end, is this the woke answer? Where we're, are they saying that all people are equal and there's nothing any racial group is better at than any other racial group? Or are they going the opposite direction? Are they saying, um, are, th are they saying, no, there's nothing white people are better at because we're better than them? It's, I, I, I don't know. I mean, may, it depends on how you interpret it, right? I don't believe that they're superior in any way, shape, or form. Just because our skin color is different, you're no better than me. You're no smarter than me. Well, yeah, there. No, no superiority there. Well, okay, so that's the, that's the egalitarian answer, right? Yeah, I don't know. This video actually wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. I expected it to be way, 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 way worse. Um, man, what? Ho hold on. Hey, money, wubby. What, what, let me. What are white people superior at? My response: the cut. Okay, I just want to see what's the. Dick is just getting dirtier. But I thought this was obvious. Apparently it's not. Apparently okay. all for well, get like a pushing the envelope of comedy, but I, I really think this is a bit of a blunder in that department. I really do. White people are not superior uh, with anything. Nothing. It, nothing. Nothing. There is nothing. <laughs> wow, we found something we fucking agree on. We're not superior in any way. People can grow. People can learn. I will value you based on your character today. That's okay. That's fine. Um, what about the more contentious stuff? Gaslighting. Lack of empathy. Intellectualizing oppression. Did I say oppression? They are literally saying white people are superior at gaslighting. What? Lack of empathy. You're just saying white people aren't empathetic. What? How can these people say this with a straight face? And then how can people turn around and defend this by saying it's just comedy? I don't think a normal person could look at this video and say it's being presented as a comedy. Okay, if people are defending this video, um on the basis that it's supposed to be like comedy, I think that's pretty dumb. Nothing about the video is presented as comedy, like at all. Nothing about the video, like not even slightly. The video is not even remotely intended to be a comedy. Especially the latter half of the video. I wouldn't consider myself some fucking moral authority or that I'm in any way a better person than these people. I am more in disbelief that the company cut made this video, allowed this video to air, and then even more so shocked, people are defending this video. What exactly are white people superior? Is what I'm doing defending this video? I'm genuinely not sure if I'm defending this video. I just feel like... Oh, God. Okay, yeah. All right. So, at the, I guess at the end of the day, your reaction to this video is going to come down to the degree to which you think it's acceptable for marginalized people to gripe about um, majority groups. Like, that's pretty much it. I don't think it's, like, really an issue of racial animus. I'd be willing to bet that, like, basically every black person in that video I could talk to, and they'd be totally free. If I asked them, like, hey, you think, like, white and black people are... Like, we're the same, right? It's just like a cultural, social thing. I think they'd pretty much all say yeah. I think it's mostly just maybe an inability for some... Oh, God. is. I feel like some of the people reacting to this, if I'm getting the vibes right, are upset because they don't 
have the, the, the sort of personal context to tell the difference between a systemic critique and an individual critique. And additionally, that many of those people are white, and I think white people in particular would not be very good at determining the difference between those things, because white people, at least in America, are very, very, very different from black people in a social hierarchy sense. Um, and the positions that are in the society and the way in which they're taught to interact with society. Does that make any sense? Normally I have chat here to kind of give me like a hot, cold, like, you know, sort of litmus test on where I'm going with this take. But I, th I think generally that's the case. I think that um, I don't think this video is anything to like freak out about. I think it was irresponsible for cut to put it out because it does feel like it's sort of pouring fuel on the fire a little bit. I don't think that this is like it, like racism, you know? I think it's just awkward. Race relations and racial conversations are fucking awkward, dude, you know? Like what like what about humor, you know? Can black people make jokes about white people? Well, they fucking do all the time. Non-white people make jokes about white people all the time. White people make jokes about white people all the time. Every day I scroll through my Twitter feed, people are making jokes about fucking mayo or whatever. And I think sometimes these jokes do belie legitimate animosity. In fact, I've argued with black people who I thought were racist against white people because of the jokes that they've made. You know, I'm not afraid to go there or anything. Um, is it okay to do that? I mean, I don't think it's harmful to society to make like white people can't handle peppered chicken white people boil their pork jokes, you know? Not necessarily. What about white people making jokes about black people? Well, I mean, it's really kind of hard to say. I think if you're friends with, like, a black person, usually they're okay with it, but if you're just making these jokes out in the open without sort of any kind of friend relationship to fall back on, I think a lot of black people and a lot of white people on their behalf get really defensive because they don't know if these jokes are expressing some kind of underlying racist sentiment. It's almost impossible to know as well because a lot of jokes about black people are basically just comedic ways of reiterating old racial stereotypes, you know? Whether you're making jokes about basketball or clothing or wearing your pants down low or your hat backwards, all of them fall back onto some like Every joke that people make about black people could have been written more elegantly and more uh, maliciously by like a 19th century frenetic scientist. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the, and the, 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 the skull of the African does facilitate the wearing of the cap backward. Okay, you, you get the joke. No fucking copyright contrapoints. Okay. Oh, God. Get me out of this segment. Please, God, pull the plug on this. Get me out of here. Goodbye.